All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Blue Red Delver. This is uh, Austin Collins' list from the Open that he topped Ford with. So we're going to run this through tonight. Um, been meaning to... Oh, damn, Real Dad Bot Hours. Yes, it is. This is Real Dad Bot Hours. I've been meaning to run this through a league, but I've just been busy and haven't quite got to it. Haven't quite got to it. So now that, you know, Austin did well and I've got some time, we're going to give it a shot here. Um, it's kind of your normal Delver deck, except it gets to, it gets a much more stable mana base. It doesn't get, you know, as wrecked by Back to Basics, which is nice, or Blood Moon. So basically it's just good in Legacy right now. The Mono Red Prison and the uh, Back to Basics running around. And, you know, it looks to take advantage of that. So... When we look at the deck here, it's got 13 threats. Oh, let me turn on, I have to charge, plug my computer in before I forget. Plug in my laptop, whoopsie daisy. So, it's got uh, 13 threats, including Terramander, which I've been excited to play with Terramander. Uh, something that's nice about this deck is it's got, you know, more one drop threats, which is nice. I mean, Terramander's not that great at one, but neither was Nimble Mongoose, and people still played it. Um, it's got a lot of spell pierce, which is nice. Uh, heavy burn aspect with chain lightning, fork bolt, and lightning bolts. There's a full eight burn spells in the main deck. With like a vapor snag, it's kind of like a game one out to uh, Merit Lage. So that's kind of a cool out to have. Um, but yeah, besides that, it's your normal Delver deck. So if your ponders, your brain swords, your spell pierces, your days, your forces. So on the sideboard's got three Blood Moons of your own, um, three of Braids to deal with the Chalice decks, some Surgicals, Fluster Storms, and three Pyroblasts, which is a lot. So for, for the Blue Mirrors, I would assume. So yeah, we're going to run this through a league tonight, at least one. Might try, might try a couple more, but let's give it a whirl. It's my first game of the day, so we're going to have to hopefully shake the rust off. <clears throat> Hopefully we're not foggy. I have to remember to feed my dog in an hour. Philly would not like would not like his DIN and ER to be forgotten about, I'm sure. We're already paired, okay. <clears throat> I've been playing a lot of Grixis Delver, so this will be a nice change of pace, see if this deck is uh, where it's at. A lot of people that are very smart and Legacy will like it a lot, so we'll give this a try and see what we think. All right, we're going to keep this hand. We have a Forest Ponder in a Daze and some Wastelands. Looking pretty Delver-like. All right, we are playing the mirror. I kind of want to force this. Because if we don't force this, we don't have a way to kill it, and it flips, it's just going to kill us. I don't think enough people force... Delvers in the mirror here. But we, we have more ways to deal with it than a normal Delver deck. Like we've, We have like eight removal spells if you uh, count Chain Lightning. That's a nice draw. So I'm just going to ponder, looking for a way to kill this. Yeah, it's risky, but like... Uh, we're just going to let this go. Well... I'm actually going to daze back because we need to find a way to kill this Delver. We lose our blue card for Forest, but blue, that's not that good. Okay, great. So we hit a way to deal with it. Uh, we'll stack like this. I should have done that differently. I should have drawn the Pyromancer. That was a mistake. If he's got like, we're playing against Grixis and it's a turn one. Uh, Okay, no flip is nice. 
Blasphemy. Yeah, I, I, I thought about playing Shadow, but I just didn't have a list. I didn't have a list that um, you know really liked, and I kind of just wanted to play Legacy. I've, I've really enjoyed Legacy lately. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do this on their upkeep, or if, or if they crack this fetch, we'll wait to see what is revealed here, because they might like show us then fetch to get rid of it. And if they crack their fetch, we'll bolt this. Yeah, modern is not super great. So they did not flip, and it's so they they drew a creature. I'm gonna take one from this Delver in case they have like a Bob. Um, but if they don't, I'll probably just untap, play my wasteland, and bolt it. Okay. So our next card's a land. Okay, so I'm going to untap, play Wasteland, and I guess I'll bolt a Delver in their upkeep. There's no sense in doing it right now. Well, I guess wasting them is good, but we can waste in their upkeep as well. So let's just do all this in my opponent's upkeep. Because I get the chance of like not flip, fetch, flip the other one. I want to bolt that one. <clears throat> okay, so they're going to flip to Force. Let's see if they're going to shuffle it away. It appears they're not going to. So let's bolt this Delver before they draw force. And I think I'm going to wasteland them. I have plenty of lands in my hand. Okay, they're drawing another force, and they have Stifle. No, I kind of want them to draw this, right? They are drawing it, which means they have a blue card. I don't know if it's worth wasting them now. I mean, it probably is. I'm going to wasteland them inside of combat. So they can't go second main phase, play something, play like a two drop. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. How you doing tonight, Ryan? Okay, so the the rest of their hands got to be force plus blue card. All right, I'm just going to. They have force plus blue cards, so playing this chain lightning doesn't mean any, make any sense. I mean, if they force this, they force this. And save the Valk. Okay. That makes sense. You gonna force this, bud? Or are you gonna brainstorm into a force? No, they're gonna daze. Okay. All right. So my opponent's got Force of Will, Valk in their hand. So we're dead as a doorknob here. Especially considering my opponent can redirect with Chain Lightning if they want. Okay, so... Oh shoot, I clicked the long click long click. I thought I had another duel here. Alright, well, we're not necessarily dead. But I'm gonna waste this. And then we'll move through. This makes it so they can't chain lightning me back, which is nice. And we just hope the last card's on bolt. Because we got nothing. We do get a nice turn of like go fetch, uh, play Pyromancer, play a. Uh, this is gone. We don't, we don't know any cards in their hand. Okay. We don't have to fetch to do it. Nice. 
Do I want to play around days, probably? Probably want to play around days. Yeah. Because I would like to go Pyromancer plus Bolt. But that seems kind of greedy. So I guess I'll just play my Pyromancer next turn. And I will Bolt their Delver on the upkeep. Okay. See, my opponent has a second. We know our opponent's playing Stifle. <coughs> okay. Okay. Yep, they got it. GG, opponent. GG. Draw a card. Okay. So our opponent's got Stifle. I don't know how that changes anything. Like cards that I'm kind of interested in. I, I think it's I think it's is it though it could be Grixis. Um, cards I'm not wild about. Spell Pierce isn't great in the mirror. Vapor Snag is no bueno. Force of Will is like kind of medium. I kind of want Flusterstorm because they have black. They have a. Whatever it is. Um, they have Stifle, and I just want to be able to fight over that. Three Blast seems like a lot. But, like, a Braid is clunky as fuck. Hey. I think we're at least... We know we're going like this. I could bring in, like... These and cut these, but that's a lot of Pyroblast. It's probably too many pyroblasts. Keeping like one force, two forces. If we know if our opponent's blue red, we probably could bring this, but we don't exactly know that right off the top. We've got we have ten removal spells in our deck, which is a lot. We don't have that much counter magic. I think we're gonna go like this though. Yeah. I don't know. Like, if, if they're straight blue red, Pyroblast is better because it's nice to be able to blast a Terramander, also. I'm going to keep this hand. I think I'm going to ponder and I want to find another land because if this gets wastelanded, then I'm going to feel not good. We didn't find another land. And I think because we didn't find another land, I think I got a shuffle. I really don't want to get wastelanded. That might be like too, me being too passive though. But I think my hand's pretty solid at dealing with threats. We have our own true name, so we want to land anyways. All right, we didn't find a land. I think we want electric cream instead of one of raid. Okay. Because of Pyromancer, and it still kills like this. Let's hope we don't get wasted. Don't waste me, bro. Nice. I think I'm just going to play Terramander, play Mountain. I don't really want to brainstorm. If they kill this, they kill this. We get to then attack back. See, they're going to play around days. They did not. Okay. They did not play around days. Catch up tool gets three V. Seem worthwhile. That makes sense. Okay, so they are Grixis with a Ponder. So that might mean that Gurmag Angler gets a little better. If my opponent would have played a Delver there, I would have bolted it. 
because it sets them further off true name. I don't really think I can just jam my own true name though. Like what else am I doing? My hand's a little awkward. I really don't want to brainstorm because if they just blast it, then I'm not really doing anything. And they can jam their own true name. I kind of just want to play Island Go. And I think I'm going to do that. Now, if they commit all their mana to true name nemesis, I get to brainstorm in response to find either a Pyroblast or a Daze or a Force of Will. Okay. My opponent plays a Gurmag Angler, I'm going to throw up. I'm not going to end a turn brainstorm, I'm just going to play slow. Like they didn't shuffle, but we get to start out. Alright, so that's not bad. I'm going to start here. Okay. It's not good. So I'm going to put back Nemesis I really just want to jam a true name now that I have a second one yeah I'm going to put back a braid bolt <clears throat> What am I doing next turn? Next turn, I am going to play Dell. Uh, I don't really want to jam into a Daze. It's tough, because I could jam into Daze. I have a second one. Or I could go Delver plus Removal Spell Flusterstorm. Like, that doesn't save me for my opponent's true name, but I have another true name. I would like both of my true names to resolve, because I think I'm going to lose a true name fight here. So I'm going to put back... A braid bolt. Play my island. Play Delver. Then next turn I can play true name around days, especially if my opponent taps out for their own. So I think I'm gonna flusterstorm this. Because I would like I'm not gonna fight a counter fight over a uh, true name. Put back TN and a braid. Yeah, that probably would have been good too as well. Because I'm sitting here with both of these. It's like if my opponent's playing a Cabal Therapy for some reason, they could brown me. But I think I'm going to play a true name anyways. And I want like the one bolt here. If my opponent plays Liliana Lasso, I'm going to hurl. Okay. All right. They choose me. Now we attack with our Delver. We play our own true name. Okay. So we get wrecked by... I guess we don't even really get wrecked by Marsh Casualties because we have another one. I'm not going to, I'm actually going to play into days here because I get to do the same thing next turn. I'm going to set them so far back if they do that. Like they pick up a man, I make a dude. Okay. Maybe that was loose. Attack you for six. I should have played my true name first, I think. This is pretty weak to Marsh Casualties, but my opponent's dead. 
next turn. Could, I probably should have bolted that too. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I played these, this turn very well. Them tapping this is nice. I don't think I played this turn very this 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 previous turn very well. Like starting from my opponent's end step to my turn. Like, I think I should have gone true name first to see if it resolved before I attacked. And then I should have thought about what I was doing with a lightning bolt. If I'm just like saying, whatever, screw this pyromancer, like we're just going upstairs with both of these bolts. <clears throat> So I, don't, I don't think I did that super well. Okay, they still they have Toxic Deluge, but that wipes their board as well. And we're still like super winning this race. Like it would take a lot to swing this the other way. Oh, they have uh, Terry. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Terry costs two mana to go. So I'm going to bolt Terry in response. If they do it on my upkeep, I can use a braid. I think I'm just going to bolt Terry. I don't really want to deal with a 5-5 five, five in the air. If they hit a lightning bolt, they hit a lightning bolt. Or they hit a daze, excuse me. Worth a try. Um, so we put our opponent to one. They can't force and they can't fetch. And they can't deluge. And then if we bolt here, it's five. They deal us five. Two lightning bolts is still not lethal, so there's no sense not attacking with everything. We attack first. Yeah. So I kind of want another, I guess three blasts is still good. Marsh Casualties isn't enough either. Like, we, we're probably going to need all of our forces on the draw because of Stifle. Philly boy. Oh, Philly boy. Dad, I like Twitch Chat. Twitch Chat's nice. All right, we got that one. Okay, so we want these on the draw because my opponent is a... Um, we want them on the draw because my opponent... Oh my God, what was I going to say? We want them on the draw because my opponent's a stifle deck and their deck's going to be pretty good on the play. This is kind of clunky on the draw. Um, whoop. I think, I think I want my forces because they're a stifle deck. <coughs> we saw stifle in game one and like stifle is going to be good on the play. They just need to get out of the late game and then stick a good threat. Um. Uh, Kill Swan, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Like force isn't. I just want to get stifled out of the game. That's the only problem. Like maybe it's worth bringing in like one spell. Maybe I don't need all of my forces, and I should play spell pierce. But Spell Pierce doesn't deal with any of the creatures, and the creatures are what, what matters the most. I like these electricaries are also like decent, but 
I don't know what is worse. Like, maybe like one of these comes in. A little bit more of a catch-up mechanic. Days is still good on the draw. Fluster Storm because of the Stifle. I think I'm going to go like this. Yeah, this hand's pretty solid. We gotta, we're going to have to play the slow game if our opponent goes uh, fetch land pass. Yeah, so we're not playing into that. I had to walk there if you hadn't. And we're just not going to play this game against. That's interesting. Like now we can start a fight on our on our opponent's end step over our lands. If our opponent just like stone cold stunner plays true name, then like we're we're in a little bit of trouble. We're actually in a lot of bit of trouble. What is this opponent? Wasteland. Is it gonna jam? Uh oh. Okay. All right, you gonna stifle me? So I have to get a Valk because I need a red source. How do I get got here? I should fetch again. Because they stifle now. And I'm just going to get another Valk. Because there's already a Wasteland target on the table. All right, and then I will fluster storm back. I have found stack there since we have fluster. We can put some tokens. Oh, that makes sense. You're right. Now I could have like fork bolted to clean it all up, but fork bolt is going to be good there regardless. And I'm just gonna play a pyromancer here because I would like to get it down while I have two mana. Because like they're likely gonna waste me, and then I can follow up with Terrence. A true name here is not good. Okay. A second wasteland would also have been really bad. All right, just gonna let this go. We need a land. Yeah, I was correct to fetch on the stack. Molten Vortex. That seems odd. All right, ponder for land. Gross. All right, here comes like the barn door. Just scream, waste me. Yeah, it seems like it should be Grim Lava Mancer. That would like Lava Mancer would be much better there. But I mean it does turn your dead draws into something, I guess. Okay. Well now we get to go bang bang, hopefully if this works out. Alright, I think I gotta find a land. Okay. On the bottom, put on top. I think I'm out of vaults. Don't stifle me, bro. Whew. 
<laughs> Come on. Oh, baby. <clears throat> We're back in business. Yeah, I, it doesn't seem super to me. Okay. I would like to wait on my Terramander until I get another blue land. Because it's one, two, three, four, five. I guess we're not that close, and I can play around a daze from my opponent. Because no matter what, I'm throwing something into here to be to be whacked by this vortex. I could just pass until I get until I'm able to like level up my Terramander or put True Name on the stack. Billy boy, come here, Phil. Yeah, we're, we're in it. This is quite a game. I think I'm just going to pass. Oh, yeah, it is kind of. Yeah, it is kind of cute. I think I'm just going to pass. I'm gonna pass one more time. We get destroyed by like a Gurmag Angler here. Not bad. We get to make mana here if that's at all relevant. Okay. Okay, so we have our second blue. So we have one. Two, three, four, five, six. This will be one. We have six. We still we can we still can't level up Terramander unless we get the opportunity. We can do that next turn though. So I don't think I want either of these Delvers. I think the Delvers are pretty poor. I think they're just worse than like a Terramander at this point. Like Terramander's gonna take us home. Or I could just jam Trunay next turn. That's a problem. And I think I'm going to go for um, I think I'm going to go for I'm just going to daze it twice because we don't have a removal spell for this thing. I'm not gonna brainstorm. Because then they could daze back. Nice. This has been an awesome game. It's been a pretty good match. Like, even though my opponent beat me up in the first game, like, we both had plays. Oh, is this a Gurmag Angler? Oh, it's just an Inquisition. What do I, do I want to hide something? I think I want to hide something. I kind of want to hide Pyroblast. I kind of want to hide... Uh, I kind of want to hide Pyroblast Lightning Bolt. Because they can play a Delver. And then next turn we can kill it. And level up our Terramander. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. You can take my hand of all threats.
Because like they have one mana up here, and it could easily be a Delver. If they don't play anything, we're just going to play Terramander and pass. Okay, they didn't play anything. Jerk. I wish I'd have stacked it differently now. So we're going to vortex this. We're going to activate it response. Doesn't double Delver get outclassed by everything you have? I'm confused what you mean, uh, Joggle. So we kind of get a two for one here. Like, basically, they trade two cards for this Terramander and deal us one point of damage. Like, which, like if they have Gurmag Angler, isn't, re isn't irrelevant. Okay. Like, Vortex is, 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 is cute. I'm just going to fetch. Because... Do I want to fetch? I don't think I want to fetch, actually. I don't want to get got by, like, Stifle Day, so I'm going to fetch. If they Stifle this, then I'm just going to play Pyromancer. Like, I'll give them the chance here. They didn't do it. Yeah. I feel an edict coming my way. Okay, they play to land. Okay. So they don't know about my Delver. They don't know about either of these. I really don't want to play into days because then I can pick a land up for this vortex. So I'm just gonna untap. That's nice. We're going to play true name. Hit my opponent. Blast this. And then wasteland here. They could daze this, and then we'll just pay for it. And, you know, be a little sad about our lives. All right. There we go. Start by attacking. So why does it demand immediate answer? What was last? Instead of just a question on the battlefield, I would have had the TNNs or Lizzie's instead. I think because we just had five threats, you know? Like, we had so many that we might as well just, like, let them pick. Spell Snare. Okay. We will ponder. I probably have to play a little faster. I'm just a little slow. Okay, they're going to blast this, sure. Okay. Like, wasting the black, going PZ plus bolt. Yeah, that's a good line as well. Not going to bolt, because it doesn't accomplish anything. We're going to keep that in our hand. My opponent has him in their deck. They're very far from casting it. I would like to be able to counter that. I would blast that. As, I'd probably force that if I had the option to. Because now like a fetch line that can play Angler, that gets a little annoying. Crater Maker. All right, 
I don't really want to bolt that. Deals two damage to target creature. So I just raise this thing, I think. Especially considering my opponent's brainstorm locked. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it. Well now I just wanna go bolt this fluster storm this, which I'm gonna do. Because they're they're brainstorm locked. I don't really want them to like get their way out of it. Like I would assume that their next draw is dead. Is that good? What am I looking for? Another creature so I don't get edicted. I guess it would be my best draw. I can get blasted, but if it gets blasted, it gets blasted. Um, all these cards are so good. I'm going to put back the Chain Lightning and then just have Blast Days and then Chain Lightning on top. Hey, Dylan. Do you have any experience with a site called Transients for buying paper cards? What site? Or MTG Corner. I have not used it because I don't buy a lot of cards. But it seems very good. My opponent says they're going to stop by. Yeah, I um, Transmute looks sweet. Like, they've got a good, like, their site looks sweet. Um, I haven't used it because I don't buy a lot of cards. Like, I pretty much got what I need set up in between, like, what I own and then what, like, my friends have. So I don't buy a lot of cards. But, yes, good games, Cat Cat They were nice games, yes. I think it's good. I don't think Ronnie, Ronnie the runner of MTG Corner, wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't endorse somebody that's not good, in my opinion. Yeah, if they have some good prices, you should go at. Yeah, it's Austin. I played Austin 75. I would like to play first. It's kind of mopey, but I'll keep it. I have good interaction, and we're on the play. I'd like to find a Delver or a Terramander. Off of this. Kitty boy. Oh, kitty boy. So he's just chewing on his bone. Going to town over here. I shall ponder. We found no threat. I shall shuffle. That's an answer to a threat. If I have one of the two scalding tarns, they have $70 tarns. Yeah, you should do that. You're going to give Traverse Shadow another start? Um, I'll probably play it at some point because one of my fr uh, one of the guys that subs to me has been working on the deck, and I told him I would like check it out. Give it a whirl. Yeah, the, the vortexes looked or looked a little odd. Like, have you ever played? Is it like what is it supposed to be? Like a lava mancer that doesn't attack? Or am I dead? So we're playing against Storm. I, I would assume this is Storm. All right, we found a Trune Nemesis that is slow AF, but it's like. I don't even think True Name's gonna do it. Yeah, this is just too slow, and I have to tap out to play it. Gross. Okay. I'm mean, gonna start flinging bolts in my opponent, I think. Uh, look quick, oh, am I dead? Yeah, Ant's, Ant's a really good deck. 
I'm just gonna spell. My opponent knows I have a spell pierce, but like, if I just let this resolve, eventually they're gonna find a way to kill me through my spell pierce. And like, I, I do this knowing full well that my opponent can kill me right here, and I'm I'm giving my opponent the green light to kill me. Didn't like that it hurts Salamander. Yeah. Yeah, Molten Vortex in like the 18 land deck is, you know, a little rough. I would daze that if I could. I would just counter anything at this point. Did they, what did they do? They chose not to shuffle? How unlucky. There's our boy. So we're definitely going to bolt my opponent end of turn. Because we need to make this thing a 5-5. Five, five. Fail. Easy. Now this is why I set the simpler formats like modern. Opponent one mana low spend level. He can kill me. Scary Terry. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen the YouTube video of office linebacker Terry Tate? Yep. Take it easy. Uh, Cat Jews and good games. Yeah, let me find this. Whenever I think of Terry, this is what I think. There's like a lot of them, but this is what I think. So I have to catch stream live. I've gone hard on your YouTube videos. You also gave me some great advice on my budget channel mana base. Yeah, dude. Thank you. I appreciate the nice uh, the nice words. Thick boy Phil demands dinner. He he's got 15 minutes. 15 minutes, buddy. Dad, what the fuck? Feed me. My opponent's probably just like, yo, how can we kill them? Oh, subscriber. Sweet. I only need like 40 more subscribers until I can <coughs> apply for monetization. Which is pretty sweet. All right. Give my opponent the green light. And I'm just going to like bolt them, untap, bolt them, and then grow Terry. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still going to bolt them because, like, it makes Terry uh, one of the discount. I am not playing regionals. My wife is out of town, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Wife's out of town. Phil is recovering from a – what is this? They're not, they don't want to get stifled. Phil is recovering from a chemical burn – on his bag from getting uh getting neutered. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I literally might as well just chain lightning them. Level up Terry. Say you've got a turn. Yeah, like so they went to they went to shave him. Yeah, they went to like because he went to go get neutered. And they shaved him, and then before the surgery, and they put lotion on to make it so that like it wouldn't irritate. He's got such sensitive skin that he had a reaction to it, and he basically had a chemical burn on his bag. And this guy is an absolute trooper. He's got that that like if that happened to me, I would be freaking out. And he's just sitting there like wagging his tail, still wanting to do everything. Like what an absolute savage. So we kind of pick about how, like, we didn't have really any interaction this game, but, like, we're still threatening to kill our opponent on turn five. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. All right. You got it, opponent. I mean, my opponent wouldn't play around. I just have six because for that life EV. My opponent wouldn't play around anything anyways because they're dead. Yeah, Phil's the man. Little bastard. Yeah, you're a little bastard. After this round, I'm going to sideboard and go feed him, so I might have a little break in the action. Shouldn't take too long, though. Then I have to make sure to give him a pill. Yeah, you got it, dude. Take you later, Jay. To see you later, Jay. Is this like a... This is just a tutor for time. It doesn't really do anything else. I cannot believe we won that. Yeah, I've always had dogs. All right, Flush Storm comes in. Um, I'm going to bring these Pyroblasts in because I have so many cards that don't do anything. Like, these don't really do a lot. I'm going to bring Surgical in as well. Uh, the Vapor Snag does nothing. I'm going to Chain Lightning and Fork Bolt do nothing. I'm going to leave in... I'm going to leave in Fork Bolt because I might be able to, like, fight my way through some zombies. But, no, I also should bring in, like, Trickery because of Goblins. I think that's literally what we're going to do. Right like that. There's a lot of pyroblasts, but I'm just going to snap any cancer if I get. So I'm going to go submit, and then I'm going to feed Phil, and then I'll be right back. Shouldn't be any more than a couple seconds. Hang on. Hey, you want dinner? You want dinner? You want dinner? You want All right, heater. Phil, go eat your dinner. Phil, what are you doing? Phil, eat your heart. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I put Phil's heartworm medication in a little, in the bowl, and he grabbed it and then brought it out. Just like, nah, Dad, I'm good. So I'm going to end a turn, I'm going to end a turn Brainstorm or bla or counter a cantrip here. Yeah, I'm just going to smack this. <clears throat> if you're going to kill me off four cards, then kill me off four cards. That threw a force of will. <clears throat> I'm going to rip a land like an absolute professional next turn. Yeah, you got it. I love countering cantrips. Doom to doom to doom to doom. It's forcible. Interesting. Um, I wouldn't mind shuffling away this bowl. Ooh. Well, I want all these cards. I guess I want these the least, but I wouldn't mind drawing that ponder. I'm just going to waste my opponent. Do 
inside chicken nuggets. It's kind of a good idea. I really just want to waste them and say, like, kill me. I can just do that next turn, though. I should just, like, be an adult. Yeah, I'm gonna be an adult. Snap blasting any cantrip here. And then if I pick up a free counter, I'm just gonna jam my Pyromancer. All right, we're gonna upkeep fetch. Yeah, that's probably good as well. Well, yeah, now next turn I'm just going to play this. And then I'll waste them off of both both lands. Just going to counter anything here. So, Young Pyromancer saw play... Oh, they just scooped it up. Okay. So, Young Pyromancer saw play in, um, in Grixis Shadow sideboards when the mirror became super prevalent because the best card in the mirror is Liliana the Veil. And Young Pyromancer beats up on Liliana the Veil. Like, Death Shadow players weren't even playing Last Hope. They just played, like, three Veils in their, main, in their sideboard for a while. And three, like... It just and then people were also playing like Chameleon Colossus and um, whatever the stupid card is, the two two with double strike that is pro black and green. They were playing that as well, and Pyromancer just kind of held the fort. Hey boy, come here, bud. Come here, Phil. Okay. Sit. Sit. Open up. Hey, open up. Open up. Hey, open up. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Did you get it? Did you get it down? Did you read it? Oh my god, Glitch Chat. Billy Boy's doing that. B Boy. <laughs> All right. Back to Magic. Mirror Crusader. Yeah, that was it. Dude, Philly Boy is the best boy. He is the best boy. He's tough as nails. He loves his mom, which is the most important. All right. Oh, I do not need another ponder. We don't need a ponder. Hey, boy. Yeah, dude, didn't I didn't I yield through this? World Juice Bot. Word Juice Bots. My opponent's name's cool. It is the scalding tarn strategy. I love me a scalding tarn strategy. Island. You got it. Good Phil, kill the camera. Yep. Yeah. I might have to pin that on my YouTube video. Like, I always do the, I try to always do the matches, and then I'm gonna do like Philly freak out moment. At this minute. And somebody will watch it. Alright, we are going to. So I have no way that I can stack this force of will. To flip this Delver, so we're just gonna go Delver Tarn Force. 
We're going to draw the turn, shuffle the Delver away, and then we're going to play a young Pyromancer. Come here, Phil. Billy boy. I could just play Wasteland, play Pyromancer, but like I would like to get some value out of my Wasteland. If I just like project Wasteland, it might not really work out. Dad, Dad, stop streaming. Play with me. Play with me, Dad. I can't play with you, bud. You need you need rest. We're playing against a Grixis control strategy. Swear to God, you put a Baleful Strix in the stack, I'm going to freak out. Don't do it. Okay. Thank God. My opponent's playing Grixis Control. I might just waste them, and then I'm, like, okay drawing the Delver. Like, if they shuffle here, like, they're going, they put two cards at the bottom. If they shuffle, I think they're looking for another land. And if they shuffle, I'm just going to wasteland them. If they don't, I'm going to fetch... And um, play, whatever it is. They chose to not shuffle. I still kind of want to waste them. Because then I can, like, waste them next turn and then play a Delver. Yeah, I'm just going to waste them. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Grixis. I think it's Grixis Control, and for that reason, I want to waste them. They could be Grixis Delver, but like usually Grixis Delver doesn't play an island. They don't definitely don't play that, so I think we're definitely playing against Grixis Control. I will not force a Baleful Strix here. It's kind of nice that against this deck, if we do have a Force of Will, like we have a... Another force of will to pitch it to. <gasps> Excuse me. Like we don't have to pitch like a real card to it. <gasps> I have the hiccups. Basics. Infernal tutor. I have been mistaken. Go ahead and go to thoughts use. Okay. A whole plan about playing Delver is not great. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jam this Pyromancer. Because now they need they need two thought seizes to go off. Yeah, it ended up being Storm. We were double wrong. You hear that, Phil? We were double wrong. Dad, why are you so stupid? Why you look stupid on Twitch, Dad? Why don't you look smart? It's smart, so then people will subscribe so you can buy me new toys. Ponder. I'm going to chain lightning my opponent on my main phase. They see me phasing. They do sometimes. <clears throat> they chose not to shuffle, which is scary. All right, I mean, like this is the best that I can do. Just put them on the table.
I'm going to I'm going to force a discard spell just to make a token here. Like I mean the best we can do is like, you know, make ad nauseum worse. We know they have another thought sees. <clears throat> Again, I'm just doing this to make a token. Maybe I keep it because if they don't... Yeah, I should just... If this is a thought season, I'm just going to keep a force. Because if I draw a blue card... If they can't go off this turn and I draw a blue card next turn, I have another counter spell. And the thought season still does two damage. Like, they've had a lightning bolt, basically. Yeah, so we're just going to let this go. We can F6. Yeah. I also don't add to the storm, which is, oh, Barry Live. They're an Arclight Phoenix deck. Okay. Well, that's going to be tough to beat. This is like an Arclight Phoenix storm deck. Holy shnikes. Tendles me for eight. Finish me off with that. You got it. I yield. Yeah. Think of all that we could have denied. Okay. So we want this. They're going to have, I think they're going to have Dark Confidant after sideboard. They might have Empty, but Electric Curry also kills that. Cards that we determined were useless. No, it's like the, I've seen it. I've seen it on Twitter. People were talking about it. it's like the new storm flavor. I'm gonna turn some lights on in here. Get a little more light in my life. Hey boy. Hey boy. Throw some water. Let's go make sure you get water. Here, bud. Need water, big boy. Need to put some water in here. Where are you going? He's got thing in the ice in the sideboard? Jesus. Well, I think this hand is... We have a daze and a Delver, and if they do have, like, Bobs, or they go off through Empty, we have that covered with, but it's pretty bad. We have a Delver on one, which is hard to... I think it's pretty impossible to turn up a Delver for one, and we just gotta hope our deck rewards us. So you have the threat, we have one piece of interaction. If they're playing Bobs, we have that covered. This, if this is how we go, this is how we go. All right, come on, baby. Some of them play empty, and some of them also have Dark Confidant. All right, we have another day, which is nice. 
So I'm literally going to daze anything. It's kind of easy then to play around the first days. Plus, if we get the four mana, we can double electric hurry. Yeah, we're definitely hard casting the first days. An island strategy. A swamp strategy. Preordain. I kind of just want to double daze this, but that seems pretty loose. I need like a spell pierce or a force or something like that. Or a brainstorm off the top would be nice. All right, we got days for days. All I do is days, 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 no matter what. You got it, sir. Spell Pierce, Fluster Storm, Force of Will. That's what we're looking for. Brainstorm, Ponder. We have a bunch of D straws. Well, now they know our shame. I'm waiting for like a BM in the chat. Oh man, Alexander Trebek has been diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. That sucks. Used to watch him all the time as a kid. Redundancy, yes. We have a full house. Lotus Petal. They took like trickery. Another Lotus Petal. Cabal Therapy. Oh, you're going to have to pay for that one. So I think what's going to end up here is I'm going to have no hand. Like, you're going to earn that therapy, son. This is quite entertaining. All right, we got the twofer. Ooh, the nut. As you would say, put back both of these. I'm just gonna attack, shuffle, play Terry, waste you. 
and just be like, you're dead. Play Terry. This is this is the best I can do, opponent. I've got a wasteland. I've got a a days. One, two, three, four. We're not gonna be able to upgrade Terry next turn, unfortunately. If my opponent puts a discard spell in the stack, I'm just going to daze it because one, two, three, four, five, six, it makes this lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, two mana. Yeah, so like no matter what my opponent does here, I'm probably going to daze it. We can daze out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should just daze this so that I can level up Terramander next turn. I think to like. Well, I guess I don't even. That doesn't even do it. I don't know. Maybe I should have let that go. I should probably should have just done this to not put uh, add storm to the add anything to the storm count. To be honest, yeah, I messed up. I just shouldn't have dazed anything because I, I added to the storm count. Punt. I need to do one damage to each creature I don't own now. They just like we out here hard cast the Phoenix, baby. These aren't coming back either. All right, we can beat this. Oh, shoot. Well, at least now we get to upgrade Terry. And, like, maybe we can race these Phoenixes. My opponent actually kind of screwed themselves doing this, because now, like, I can still attack with Terramander. Well, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to trade the board next turn, which I think... They named him Lightning Bolt. Oh, okay, so now they don't... Now they can't... Now Scary Terry isn't in the mix. Okay. Hmm. Good play from the opponent. Our opponent played this very well. How are they going to attack with? Probably just two? They could attack with all of them to, to give themselves a better chance to just help swing the race. All right, we're taking this shot. Take a nine. That doesn't do anything. So, what am I doing? I need to draw one point of damage. Uh, not tonight, no. Not tonight. I thought about it, but I decided to play Delver deck. Sure. 
Trade takes six. Doesn't really do it. All right, we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw a lightning bolt. Surprised they they must have boarded one out because they could have put three in the yard, and then they'd have been in a better spot. Two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, can't. Can't upgrade Terry. So I can block. I can block and trade. Like block here. And then kick this. And take three. But I don't really know where that gets me. Because then I just have to block next turn. That gives me a chance to draw Delver. Or another Terramander. So I'm just going to block. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, block. Then I'll shoot it. <clears throat> All right, we're passing. We're on the chump train. Tony Clean Socks Modern. Yeah, Modern's not super fun at the moment. Yeah, I'm just going to. I guess I'm going to fluster storm this choke their mana just so they can't bring this one back. I don't think I have any outs, but I need to draw a brainstorm into double bolt. So maybe I was actually supposed to keep that card in my hand. Cause I need to go two cards brainstorm gives me three more plus one, put back two. So I can draw land. I can still have land double bolt left after. So yeah, if I if I, I have to brainstorm with a land double bolt basically, or I'm dead as a doorknob. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna stream Shadow on Friday. I have to find a deck. I have to find a, a deck that I like. At least I like though, which I don't exactly know what I want. I don't want to play Liliana's. Hate Liliana's. Now we can draw a removal spell and get this off the board. So even like bolt, one bolt keeps us in the game. Nope. Hang on, I'm gonna re I'm gonna watch this because like Alex Trebek was like part of my childhood. Bear with me. And it's in keeping with my longtime policy of being open and transparent with our Jeopardy fan base. I also wanted to prevent you from reading or hearing some overblown or inaccurate reports regarding my health. So therefore, I wanted to be the one to pass along this information. Now, just like 50,000 other people in the United States each year, this week I was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Now, normally the prognosis for this is not very encouraging, but I'm gonna fight this and I'm gonna keep working and with the love and support of my family and friends, and with the help of your prayers also, I plan to beat the low survival rate statistics for this disease. Truth told, I have to, because under the terms of my contract, I have to host Jeopardy for three more years. So help me, keep the faith, and we'll win. We'll get it done. Thank you. Hmm. All right, back to this. 
Could you have cast Thief of Sanity? That seems interesting. That seems interesting. Yeah, sorry, I just put that on there because I used to watch Jeopardy all the time. So I just wanted to see what it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. Everybody gets it each year. The guy will do his best to fight it over, to fight it off. <clears throat> All right. What time are you going to plan on playing Shadow Friday morning? Afternoon. I'll probably play at, I don't know, around 5. This is kind of what I'm working with. At the moment. I 4 won the league with this last night. I, I lost. I, I, I messed up playing against Phoenix, which lost me that match, which I, I felt kind of stupid about. Oh, looks like we're slowing down here. I'm going to have to bring the stream back in a second. So let's see. Doesn't look like OBS is good. Oh, looks like we're back. Okay, I'll, br I'll go back to that in a second. I thought we were going to have stream problems. would like to play first. And I would like to keep. I'm going to lead on Tarn, I think. Because I would like to play this Del. I would like to play as Pyromancer. So I'm probably going to do that no matter what. But yes, yeah, so my opponent does something that makes so that I have to force something, days something on turn one, I will. But I would like to get this thing down. So I could brainstorm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. I could daze this, but I, I want to play. I want to play my pyromancer next turn. <coughs> Moto, please. Moto. Pretty sure this is Brian Carvalho, who is also streaming. Nice. Well, I'll be able to watch my play from the other side. Land Thought sees. Okay, so. We get another ball. Now we can go land fatal push, which would be kind of annoying. This is like the blue black control deck. And 
Not bad. I kind of want to keep, I kind of want to shuffle this brainstorm away, as weird as that sounds. So I think my daisies are going to be just good. I could just get rid of this. I'm just going to get rid of the force. Daisies will likely be good. Oh, good. I'll stick around. Curious to see you. I'm going to skip the fans from the rights. Oh, nice. You're going to play Shadow at Regionals? I have this. I don't really want to play either of these two cards, to be completely honest with you. I'm so disappointed with both the Lilianas. Just not a fan, Stan. All right, so let's get an attack first. And then we can brainstorm and potentially play Terry. Nice. Oh no. I think I'm actually going to put these two back and then play another Pyromancer. Yeah. I thought about playing a fourth piece of Graveyard Hate, but I would want it to be something that's not surgical, something that like nukes the Graveyard. So I thought about playing a Spell Bomb, which I kind of like, to be honest. Brainstorm. Okay. I hope I stack that right. Okay. One, two, so Terry's not very big at the moment. Get in with both. I can ponder to set up my Delver and play Terry and Delver next turn. Or I could just draw this spell pierce, which sounds pretty decent to me. So let's go like this. No. Play Delver. We have three counter spells, so like it's gonna be tough for them to resolve much through this. Let's see if he pays. Because I'm pretty sure he's just dead. Because we're going to, we're going to flip this Delver to a Chain Lightning. Alrighty. So I think I want Flusterstorm and Pyroblast because my opponent's a Baleful Strix deck, and this just counters Baleful Strix, which is really important. Um, we can cut Vapor Snag. 
And it's probably just like fork bolt and chain lightning. We'll keep our lightning bolts. I kind of feel like I have to keep Enforce against this deck. Like this deck has a pile of Lilianas and Marsh Casualties. So I think without Force, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I could cut like... Like he's probably not going to give me as many Wasteland targets. So I could go something like this. Yeah, why don't we try that? Just keep the reach in. Because I'm not going to get to Wasteland very often. Yeah, Echo Truth is a little meaty to me. But like... I could see like... Oh, no. See if we can figure this out. But I kind of, I just want like another piece of graveyard hate that isn't a surgical. Because like I just play against so much graveyard. Yeah, we're going to keep this. Play Delverino on one. Again, I might stream tomorrow, but I, I probably won't. Ooh, my opponent's Wasteland. Well, I just probably messed myself up there. Days. I'm gonna keep either spell up here. Because I would like to spell Pierce a cantrip or something, and then like Days something would be nice. I'm going to daze this. I think I'm going to float red because I'd like to spell pierce a Liliana. It's kind of like gives a gives it away that I have a blast, but I really don't want to get hit by a Liliana. Next turn. Well, that'll help. So now I'm just going to attack and then waste him. Cuts them off black as well. At least my Delver exposed. But. My Delver gets exposed and we said. Don't kill it. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, we're just going to pass. Probably end up blasting this EOT. Because I'd like to be, like, again, I want to be able to pierce a Liliana. Or if they put another one in the stack, I'll blast it and blast this. Okay. So I think I'm just going to blast this because we, we drew like the second, we drew the chain lightning. So we just have a lot of reach. Yeah, we've got a Liliana covered. Him. Okay. That's unfortunate. Now well, I got rid of two good cards. Okay. Man, him is a beating. People want him in modern are crazy.
chose to not shuffle. Okay. Start by attacking. And I think I'm going to ponder. I don't have a lot of resources, and brainstorming could be dangerous. I don't really want any of these. I kind of just want counter spells. Oh, I should have kept that land. Maybe that was loose to not. Yeah, I probably should have kept some more of that stuff. I probably should have kept off of that. That was not that was a little loose of me. I wanted something to do like this turn. And I probably was like, oh well, I can just do that next turn and be okay with it. We're gonna brainstorm. And put this back and we will keep this. And then we'll just let that resolve. Attack and then we'll play two threats. Card underneath Terramander is a land, I believe. Play this out too. <coughs> Tense game. So we know our top card's not going to flip Delver. So in response to the Delver trigger, we gotta we have to fetch. Gross. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we fetch and level up Terramander. Hopefully you can't kill Terramander. This is like an edict. Okay, got it. There we go. Nice. We're playing for the 4 1. We some Delva. Love me a little bit of Delva. Skinny boy. Appreciate everyone showing up and hanging out tonight to watch some hot legacy action. Hopefully it's four one. Terra Tian and split. I guess it is a spot like this, having four and two and shaving rays versus control. Um, I don't know, like ha having a lot of terra matters that can be redundant and like they don't help each other, you know what I mean? I'm gonna log in. This hand does garbage. Does not do anything. This hand's pretty solid. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Well, I would like to pitch that to the other force. I think I would like to do another one. I'd like to have another card in this situation. Ponderosa. Yeah, I don't think you want a lot because like Terry's not great when it comes to like turning itself on. I'm going to get a Scalding Tarn, get an Island, and Ponder. I 
So I think I'm actually going to go Delver. Like, I'm going to put the Spell Pierce on the bottom, put the Delver here, and then draw the Wasteland. And then next turn, play the Delver. It'll flip to Spell Pierce. I suppose without LUTS early, when one player is at less fire. Well, it's LUTS. My opponent wished me best of luck. Oh, so playing against a control deck. So my wasteland is not going to be good. So I probably should play this. I'm not going to fetch. I'm drawing that for sure. So let's play this. I'm probably not. I guess I, sh I, guess I should have kept that because I might want to. Well, I suppose the is going to be good. Light up the stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Light up the stage seems weird. I'm not going to fight over that. I am just going to slam this true name nemesis next turn, though. Umazawa's Jitte. Okay. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to play this. I'm going to jam into this. Get this true name down. My opponent forces, I'll force back. Oh, they have days. So they have a blue white Delver. Now we don't have anything, basically. But. <clears throat> but we have a true name. Okay, opponent brainstorms, which isn't. There's no Delver. That'd be Land Delver. That would really get me here. I would assume this Delver is probably better than the Mirror. All right. Well, at least they're shuffling. A Stoneforge Mystic would be really bad. Okay, that's still pretty bad. <clears throat> it's not as bad. Uh, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna bolt this. They can't spell Pierce. I guess they could double day shit. All right, nice. Play my land. All right, nothing from our opponent. This is, we're owning. Philly, we're owning. Philly boy, we're owning. All right, the shades to turn off the clock. <clears throat> All right, that's wasted. I'm going to waste it. I'm going to play my wasteland first and then put Delver on the stack. It's about Brad's owning things, really. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember, I like watching Drake do it. I always think that's funny. Uh, I guess I should probably waste this my opponent's upkeep. I mean, this is, this is dead, right? All right. 
I'm just going to do this now. Yeah. I guess, I don't know. I could do it in the upkeep. But, like, they tap this. It's like maybe there's something weird that they could do with the more mana. Does it even matter? It doesn't matter. There's all this resolve, attack them, and then I daze whatever counters my chain lightning. You got it. All right, that's good too. Or combat step? Okay. Like, I wanted to play the Delver with as much man. It's so weird how on Moto this resolves and then pauses. Like, my opponent's at zero with the option to, like, do it back. Should have waste, wave phase, or combat step. You're talking about as soon as they change phases. Probably could have done it. So I wanted to play Delver with three mana up. But maybe that's not even right to do. So against the Stoneforge Mystic deck. I want like some number of these, and like these are maybe. Vapor Snag, no bueno. This card's been not very good, but I've also like not played against a Merit Lage deck, where I'm assuming is what it's for. There's likely way too many of these right here, but we'll figure that out as we're going. I don't really like Spell Pierce and Delver Mirrors. So like this deck is this deck's like different. It's a lot bigger. This Force of Wills aren't that great either. But I don't want like this many this many cards gone. Like, I know I want this gone. I probably want like one of these and then like two of these. So against a Stoneforge Mystic deck, I think we want. At least two of these. You can like flood out on removal spells because this deck has a lot of removal spells in the main deck. I think. Like you don't want to just be all reactive. I have, like sixty three cards. I really like Pyroblast and the True Name Mirrors, but I don't, like three might be too many. But they have Jace too, so I don't really know how to board against this deck. I mean, I just cut all my forces because the game's gonna go a little longer. Like, three blasts is probably too many. I'm going to cut a blast. I usually like to keep some number of Force Wills in a Delver Mirror. Because, like, the game's kind of slower, and it's all about, like, forcing something through. But, like, oh, the game's fast sometimes, fast-paced. Like, you have to just, like, play into a mana. Like, when you have a mana advantage, they don't have a lot of mana up. You can, like, jam a threat and then back it up with Force. And, like, being on the table matters so much more. But I don't think, like, this deck is more like a Stoneblade deck. I don't really think I want to, I don't think I'm going to have to do that. You could also turn a Wasteland in this matchup, too. Oh, that makes sense as well, because, like, they're not going to, they're not going to do that. I never think of cutting lands against uh, Wasteland decks. I could just have another Brain, just so like I don't get destroyed by Jet, because, like, <clears throat> Whatever, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna I'm gonna load my deck up with removal because I feel like I'm a better true name nemesis deck as long as they don't have him because I was Jitte because I can back it up with so much burn. <clears throat> ah, this hand's kind of medium. My opponent mulliganed. I'm gonna mulligan. I think I'm gonna mulligan because they mulliganed. Like I can't beat a Stoneforge Mystic. You should treat your Wasteland as a split card. <laughs> I'm going to mulligan this hand. I don't have a removal spell. My opponent mulligan as well. We don't have a Brainstorm either. All right, we get the No Land Heater. We get the No Land Heater. All right. We've got a plan. That's not a part of the plan. All right, well, I get to kill that. Hopefully. I'm going to do it now. They can daze it, but they can like also spell pierce it if I let it untap. <clears throat> I'll just pray that there's no Stoneforge Mystic. Maybe they just don't have a land. Okay. 
there's like an argument to keeping that first hand, I think, but it's pretty slow. Just go ponder and a ponder. <coughs> They did not shuffle off the first ones. They probably found land number two. Yeah. Because it didn't, I couldn't kill anything, which is like what really matters. I couldn't counter a creature. All right, we're doing it. We get an island. I don't need to get wastelanded. We're doing it. We had a plan. We're, we're doing the plan. We're down three cards, but whatever. Okay. We're no longer doing it. You can ponder all you want, man. I'm just going to sit over here and die. How are you doing tonight, Rudy? You guys did the cast yesterday. I thought it was good. I kind of want to fluster stone this. I think I'm going to. We're, we're on the full get em plan here. I'm going to hope my opponent's hand's like a million Jaces. Feeling a bit sick. That's like the, the normal magic, magic thing, right? Go to a magic tournament, come back sick. Terry. God, please force it. Okay. This card's been better than I gave it credit for, Rudy. When we talked on the Discord. Like, it, it's kind of like... Like, it's not really Gurmag Angler. It's kind of like Nimble Mongoose. Just bring some of my rooms almost together. Do my taxes. Yeah. Are you doing your I haven't done my taxes yet. I have to do those. Do that soon. My wife might have done the taxes. I don't think it's necessarily like I think I think it's closer to like a better nimble mongoose. I kind of just want to send this thing on my opponent's face. Like they're brainstorm locked. They have a million spells probably. All right. This is like probably loose as loose AF, but it's it's like we're not doing anything with our mana. It's gonna get me closer to Terry. <clears throat> My opponent's brainstorm locked. I can't do anything about it. All right, I'm gonna attack first. Yeah, I think I think it's like. I think it's like if Gurmag Angler and Nimble Mongoose had a baby. Do you imagine how weird that would be if a zombie fish and a... Ooh. God, are we actually going to win this game? <clears throat> if like a zombie fish and a mongoose had a baby, how weird that would be? All right, you got it, opponent. <clears throat> we got one, two, three, four. They daze their own brainstorm and pay. Oh, I probably should have waited for the upkeep because of this. Yeah, this was stupid. I basically I trade my wasteland for a daze, which like there's a better time that I could have done this, especially when like there's nothing that they can do that really matters in their upkeep. Yeah, that was just me being dumb. Like, I should have just upkeeped it. Before Thief did. I'm not going to lie. I've been like playing, you know, obviously I've been playing Shadow lately. And I really dislike the three drops in the deck. Like the Lilianas. <clears throat> and I was like, 
is there like a cool value card I can play? And I was like, why don't I try like Thief of Sanity? You know? Uh oh. What do we got? One, two, three, four. Scary Terry is still just sitting here beating in. <clears throat> oh, I thought about it. I've definitely thought about uh, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. I've definitely thought about playing like Deep Sanity in the Shatter deck. But, like, I don't think it's great, but, like, it looked pretty solid in the other game. Snapcaster Mage. I'm going to daze the hell out of this. And probably get punished somehow, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of just want to abrade this right now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm just going to abrade this. Oh, that's kind of monkey. Let's let the mana go. Because <clears throat> it looked good all weekend. Like every time the Thief of Sanity. I guess the only time Thief of Sanity was on camera was when you were there. But, like, I watched whatever his name, Iwalden. Council of Judgment, okay. I watched Iwalden stream. Iwalden, I don't know his name. He's the guy that, like, runs all the trophies. And, like, his deck looks sweet. All right. That's why we didn't do this now, because we want to do this. Elanden, okay. All right, so we're going to get rid of a spell pierce at this point. And I think I'm just going to play Pyromancer. He landed. EW landed. Okay. Yeah, EW landed. Like, I thought it was one, one thing. But, like, his deck looks sweet. Um, I'm just going to get an island. They, I guess they're not going to... They could wasteland me. So let's just not give them something to wasteland. So are you going to force this? Good day's you, sir. Another days, okay. Nope, I do not days. Yeah, that's tough. So they have five cards, two of them are lands. Because you went, like, what, X, X1 on day one, right? I don't think I want any of these. Like, this Brainstorm is nice, but these two cards are so rancid that I don't want to have to keep them. All right, play this. Ugh. 7-0. Start 7-0, then go 2-6 is rough. All right, so they have two cards in hand, one of them is a land. <clears throat> All right, you got it. <clears throat> all right, this is where it all comes crashing down. We put up a solid fight here. I'm just going to upbraid this. 5, 8. This is going to 11. Um, it's like one more turn, but if my opponent plays a Stoneforge Mystic, I'm in so much trouble. Yep, take it easy, Rudy. I'm not beating a Stoneforge Mystic regardless. So I'm just going to give myself an, as much time possible to to draw out from this True Name Nemesis. We're not doing it. Okay. I yield. I yield, opponent. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay. Uh, I think we're just going to go with it. Like, we're pretty solid, I think. <clears throat> like, the forces might give you a little better, but... I don't know. We're just going to keep a decent seven-card hand. That's what we're going to do. We kind of get open ourselves at the wasteland here. But I'm gonna get Terry in play. I'm gonna get a Valk. All right, this means, all right, we're untapping with, with old Terrence. does kind of suck that we can't waste anything here, but we need to draw, like, I don't know. But, like, the wastelands are awkward for sure. I think this is going to be my last match of the day. I'm a little tired. This league has been taxing. All right, that's nice. So now we can find a land that interact. It's okay. You still be silently judging. That's what I appreciate, Tannen. I like it when people are judgy. Gross. Maybe I wasn't supposed to ponder there for this reason because I drew spell pierce just play wasteland pass oh man maybe I was just like not thinking there cast was good last night Tannen I caught it this morning alright we got that covered alright that's nice I guess we're going to start by attacking with Terry Yeah, I always catch them in the morning. Uh, as soon as I get up on Tuesdays, I usually have it on. I don't know if I want to ponder or not. Because my opponent goes late, like white source plow, I can't really stop that anyways. I don't really want to get no value of this, so I think I'm going to ponder. I've decided I'm going to ponder. Yeah, I have no idea how to sideboard against this deck. Like, not, no. I have no idea how to sideboard. Like, this deck is so odd. Because I don't know. Like, am I sideboarding against, like, a Delver deck? Got the club hanging. Going up on a Tuesday. How you doing, Harry? All right. Playing mono blue. They're not playing mono blue. They have white in their deck. Supreme Verdict. What a combination. Like, what a potent combination of Magic the Gathering cards. Yeah, that's good. Like, I'm going to waste the shit out of that Tundra. Then I'm going to waste the shit out of the next land we get. I'm going to kill that, too. Whoop. Got a YouTube comment. It's my favorite combo of cards. Wow. So I guess I just waste it first. Play another wasteland, a braid ponder. So they can't like daze and bring it back. I want I want to get this. Scary Terry is not quite there yet.
Uh, my opponents, like one of my last opponents' last two cards would have to be, and I, I, if I dump this into my graveyard, whatever, it's gonna get me up there to scary Terry. Whoop! I don't really want any of these. If we're gonna be one hundred percent honest, I just want like more. Because like, what are these gonna do here? Well, that's the YouTube subscription coming in there. I actually had my computer on loud, so you it came through the speaker. It scared me for a second. Because this is what one, two, three, four. So we can we can like upgrade Terry. The problem is if like I might want one of these Terry matters, but I don't want the other two, so I'm just gonna shuffle. Nice. Like Terry's getting large and in charge next turn. I think Days Wasteland J. Yeah. Oh, nice. We just have like cards we can't beat for a hundred right here. One, two, three. All right, whatever. We're just gonna like five my opponent, and hopefully that wins us the game. I'm just gonna attack. I think because like if I attack with everything, my opponent suits the jit up. Attacks, they go shoot, shoot. They're at 10. This will put them to. They use the jet to gain life. Yeah, whatever. I'm just attacking. And we're just going to play another Terramander. I'm drawing to two of raids. I have a shitload of burn in my deck. It's kind of weird. Am I, am I like okay with completely trading my board for this jet? Like, should I just jam this Terramander? Like, attack and then jam it? And then, like, make them verdict me next turn. Gaining life. They're gaining life. Yeah, dude. Whatever. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna slam this Terramander, level it up, and just tell my opponent to eat my shorts. It's like whatever, dude. If you rat the board. You wrath the board. At least your true name's off the board. The fact that, like, it's not already happened makes me feel good. This isn't, like, the actions of an opponent that has, like, attack land verdict. Holy shnikes. Dude, sometimes you just gotta, like, cross your fingers and go. All right, let's go pull the deck up here and see what I thought about it. I'm not gonna lie, this deck's kind of sweet. It's like, it's like a, it's a much more, like, aggressive Delver deck, which I like. Um... This Delver deck here. Is that what you're talking about, Harry? I like how it's aggressive. I just like when my decks are aggressive. Like, I really don't want to play this... <coughs> I don't know. I want to be, like, in a camp. And it was nice that I felt like when I was playing this deck, I was in a camp. The basics were nice. Um, the basics were nice. Uh, the, the Vapor Snag was out of place, but I didn't play against a Gurmag Angler all night. A Gurmag Angler or a Merit Lage all night. 
Um, so I don't really know what I think about that. I thought that the chain lightnings were nice. Like, it helped us win races. Stick was nice. Really aggressive. The sideboard seems weird. Like, I don't know if Blood Moon or Price of Progress is actually better in a deck like this. Because, like, Price of Progress is at least aggressive. How's it going, Farby? Like, I just kind of want more. But maybe I have, like, eight burn spells is enough. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I think that a lot of this... Like, you know, these two braids. The braid's fine. Like, this deck, this deck can't, needs help against um, Chalice, obviously. Without discard, it'll need more help. It can hit, uh, you can't discard Stoneforge Mystic, so this can hit, like, the, the equipment. I think this card's really good. You're just playing a lot of good cards. Uh, Terramander was impressive. Uh, Gurmag Angler, it is not. But, like, it's kind of like if Nimble Mongoose was good. You know, it's like a nimble mongoose you're proud to play, you know? I just like getting people. Like I, I like just getting there with the, these Delver decks, like getting as far, um, like, you know, getting close, and then just like having my burn just get me over the edge. That's another reason why I, don't, I couldn't imagine playing that blue-white Delver deck. But we're going to send you guys over to uh, Drake Sasser. Um, that's going to be it for me tonight. Please hit the follow button because I would appreciate that. Uh, I'll be back here probably on Friday. I think I'm going to stream some modern on Friday, but, um, I hope that you all have a good rest of your night and I will see all of you next time.